Strange the Dreamer is one of my all-time favorite books, and I definitely noted to continue a long time ago. And I've only read like it's by Lady Taylor. This book. It feels so good out here. Oh, the sun feels so good. Why is no one at the library? Is the library closed? <laughs> they walk through these trees every morning, even when it's wet. Well, they run. I thought that the library might be closed because there's nobody in the parking lot, but yeah, it's not closed. The library is our favorite place to be. Anyway, um, it feels so good out here. And I need to be out here with some fresh air so that I can get my thoughts together. I was just feeling really stuffy and cluttered and all that other stuff. I posted my first clean with me video and <laughs> I was getting frustrated looking back at the cleaning video at my clean house and then looking at my actual house and I was not clean anymore. <laughs> uh, Run off the ah! We are waiting for this tree to turn. Cause it's fall. Yes, and every and fall season. It's snowy after this season. Every fall season this tree next to our house turns. <laughs> I'm okay. Every fall season, this tree next to our house turns the prettiest colors, right? <laughs> I shrugged, I shrugged. You shrugged. That happened to me when I but, um I want to show you guys all the books Savannah has been breezing through. Just in case you thought my life was in order, this is what our shoe situation currently looks like. Got them. Thank you. Can you put them up there? Kendall carries the keys, right? What is that called? What form of figurative alliteration? Good alliteration. Alliteration. Let me show you guys. She has been breezing through these books. I got these from the book outlet. I'm so in love with that website. <laughs> she read the first book and she loved it. So we were gonna go and out and get the second book. And he bought two of the books back for her to read next. But the amount that he paid for them at the bookstore, I think I paid like four dollars more. And I got like one, two, three, four, six, seven. I think I got 12 books for about $4 more than what he paid for those two, so. Yay! <laughs> ah. So, so we're going we are to... about to read The Wild Robot. How have you Cameron been? Cameron and Savannah are getting the paint supply. Done. Okay. <laughs> Get them, come back, come back. How have you been enjoying The Wild Robot? Awesome, but we're almost finished with it. What's so, your... Uh, 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 uh. Well, you know there's a part two. What? Yeah, it's called like The Wild Robot Returns. No, is that right? My. The Wild Robot, what's the second one called? I think there's that it's called The Wild two? Robot. Yeah, yeah, so we there's, can we can read that after is we there a movie? This one. Is there a movie? No, I don't think there's a movie. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so what's been your favorite part? Mostly everything. Well, if you had to pick a, you have to pick a favorite part. Okay. When, when Blake Bill came back. Kendall, mommy wants you to tell me what's your favorite part. Uh, I, I um, when Roz helps it, her friends, every single part, and she um takes pity on Bright Bill. Yeah, those. Why does Roz take pity on Bright Bill? Because because her parents died in an accident. Ooh. Okay, so they're getting out their watercolor and I'm gonna let them paint. It worked out well yesterday. We're gonna finish up the book because I didn't Even though I didn't need to paint yesterday. Do you wanna paint today? Oh, I see what you did. Oh, you're so smart. Oh, I see what you did. Oh, I see, son. Excuse me. <coughs> 
Okay, so this one requested some construction paper, so I'm gonna try to find him some construction paper. He's all set up with his easel, so he's gonna paint here, and then I'm gonna finish this book today, you guys. So this is my solution for my schedule problems, to drop it. <laughs> drop it until it feels right again. You all set up? What color background? The reco stood perfectly still and watched as the soft rain started dripping down through the tears of the forest. But no matter how fast she ran or how well she hid or how many animals helped, she couldn't escape the sound of the hunter's stomping footsteps. The robot tapped his head a few times but the mysterious signal remained. Kendall, can you spell the word mysterious? Mm -hmm. M-Y-S-T-E-R-I-O-S Ooh, I like that. A muffled voice echoed across the shore. Cameron, what is the preposition in that sentence? A muffled voice. Good job. And what is the object of the preposition? Sure. Excellent job. Hello, I am Razum, unit 7134, but you may call me <laughs> Brightfield tried to squirm away, but thick fingers locked around him like a cage. Kendall, what is the preposition in that sentence? Around. Excellent job. Um, who can tell me what type of figurative language this is? This phrase, like a cage. A solid? Excellent! Go Cameron. Go Cameron. Go Cameron. Oh, I like it. I can't wait to see the final product. Yeah. It looks nice. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. So he is using these to build a robot like like Ross. Right, Kendall? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like this, Cameron. As Roz raced through the sky, she began computing a plan. She would get the repair she needed. She would escape from her new life. She would find her way back home. home. That's the end, you guys. Is it snack up? Snack up, snack up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nope. That is celebrate time. <laughs> there are Well, we can read the second book. We finished the wild robot. But Cam, we can get the second book. <laughs> no, -uh, he wants the wild robot. Let's keep. But reading. you love every story. He he seriously loves every story we let's read. read <laughs> let's read one more page of the first page. Let's read the first page over again. Chapter one: The Ocean. Our story begins on the ocean with wind and rain and thunder and lightning. Excellent. And waves, a hurricane, world, and is it all? Oh, That's right. Raged. Oh, raged. It was the night. And in the middle of the show. Chaos. Chaos. A cargo, yes. oh. cargo. Yeah, that's right, yes. Cargo ship was sinking down, down, down to the ocean. I, the ship left. Oh, can you do that one? Hundreds of crates floating on hat. the surface. Surface, good. Surf As a hurricane. Um, crashed and trod and knocked them around the crates. Also began sinking into 
the depths. The depths. Depths. One after another, they will small. Try it again. Small. Ooh, try it again. It's a, it's a wait, W. Wait, 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 wait. It's a W. Swal Slow. Swollen. Swallowed. Swallowed. Mm hmm. Swallowed up by the waves until only five quakes remained by morning. The hurricane was gone. There were no clouds, no ships, no land in sight. Excellent. There was only claim. Calm. Calm. Good job, girl. That's all we're going to read. Okay. <laughs> we're done. Guys, we'll read this another time. All right, let me see what you got. Cam is about to finish up his read aloud, The Dreamer. How are you liking it? Good. Good? What is so good about it? What do you like? That the pages have less words. <laughs> one, that's one of the things. All right, here you go. Go finish it's the book. It's just one of them. <laughs> Savannah. Cameron, were you the one to encourage this adventurous behavior? <laughs> I need to get accomplished Mommy, and three kids that are constantly asking on? me for things. Mommy, put these buttons on before it dries. Yes, go ahead. Y'all help me through right now. Um, the homeschool room is crazy messy, which means that lots of good things happen in there. I'm trying to throw together some kind of meal for lunch, which is basically just whatever else is in my scarcely stocked refrigerator right now. And the edits and stuff like that I have Mommy, to do are like flowing through my mind. Look, look at this. Mm. It's really nice. Can I just leave me alone uh, for a second? <laughs> Let me turn it on. Hold on. Mommy, Let me see it, honey. Look at my paint. Okay. <laughs> I'm over here trying to be a good mom. Close my eyes. And look. You girl, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. It's her lunch. I love their art, <laughs> work, mess, work. We're working on prepositions. Her tea party or her restaurant. Okay, good things are happening here. Except for the fact that I'm getting angry. Why won't she leave me alone? Why is she following me? <laughs> I'm trying to hide. Okay. my kids and, the, and it's Jasmine's birthday. Okay. What I'm currently trying to do is um, find some templates because I need to try and make some like DIY bookmarks. Um, we're doing that to go along with our book year. Basically, this year, our main focus, if all else fails, is just reading as much as possible. And I called it a book year. So I'm trying to do a video on all my details from what we are choosing to implement for our book year. I'm trying to catch you guys up. Mm. Oh, for my birthday, um, Brian bought me a membership to Masterclass. It's like this online, these online this courses. This is fun. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Two. Okay. So um, he bought me this membership. It mm. has numbers, and the maximum number is six. Mm -hmm. Look, see, uh, one, is that two? No, no. Very cool. Can I, I mean, can I Masterclass, and it's basically like these online courses that are taught by um, just these giants in their field. 
so I have all these classes that I want to take like Annie Leibovitz for photography and um, Spike Lee for filmmaking and Judy Bloom for writing I am so that person you guys I'm seriously a lifelong learner and I'm just trying to find more ways to fit it in um, but whatever my first class that I am going to be taking is Jane Goodall's class on conservation and I am so hype right now but the problem is that I need to make sure that I am consistently um, showing up for the course so my goal is to get everything done a little bit more you know in the earlier part of my day so that I can actually make some time to like do at least 30 45 minutes in one of my courses so I'm currently taking that I started with the Jane Goodall course on conservation and then I also have a course that I am taking um, for building my email list at um, our business here he is again do you want this to be yours um yeah uh, uh, yeah I'm gonna make a green one I I would love it so this is to Kendall of the future. Mommy's really interested in everything that you're saying and I adore you, but just one moment to myself. That's all. <laughs> okay, we're back. I was supposed to vlog when we went out. Um, we went to like an entrepreneur's business meeting at our church. We didn't get to stay the whole time, but the kids hung out with Nana and Pop up while we went to go try to learn and things like that and I was supposed to um, vlog when I got there but um, Brian put the camera in the trunk and I totally forgot about it. What is that face? The baby <laughs> face. The baby face. Oh, so you guys, me, I'm cuddling you. I know. <laughs> I spent all yesterday trying to take down her braided hair so I got probably I only have these two sides done, but the whole back is still braided. <laughs> so I have quite a bit of work to do. I don't even know if I'm supposed to say this right now, but I was asked to speak at a homeschooling conference. I said yes, but I have, I'm tempted to feel terrified, you guys, because if there was one thing on the very bottom of my list of things I wanted to do, it would be speak. Okay, <laughs> I just got a message from one of my um, homeschool mom Mama. friends that also Mama. does YouTube. She's amazing and again, I'm not gonna say anything just yet because I don't know if I can say anything just yet. Um, but I got a message from her asking me, she said she saw, we got an email and she saw my name and she was like, oh my gosh, is this you? And I saw her name and was thinking the same thing. So um, that's exciting. I'm gonna have somebody there that I know and adore and that's exciting. So I have quite a bit of work that I need to get done, but I, I must say that I'm, I'm on task right now, so I'm not gonna get all crazy with it. Um, I probably have about three edits to do, but I have a conference call um, about a job that, oh, man, I'm pretty sure I wanna do it, but just thinking about the time it's gonna take, that is always the challenge. So I don't even know if that made any sense. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.